Hey engineers, I'm Zockley and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. For those of you who missed the third anniversary live stream, I'm happy to announce that we will be adding Arendelle's corner lights and corner LCDs to the vanilla game. These blocks are very nice indeed and should be releasing in the next couple of weeks. You can check them out right now via the Steam Workshop links in the video description box below. This week's update contains a good amount of bug fixes. The bugs fixed this week include ships with hydrogen thrusters slowly losing altitudes, Gatling turrets being unable to target anything directly above them, and respawn ships spawning outside world limits. Lastly, we fixed numerous crashes related to parallelization. Now, let's take a look at something a little different. This video here showcases our improved drone AI which is being worked on at the moment. For example, drones will be able to strafe, use static weaponry and ship tools and target different grids, blocks and players. For now, this behaviour can only be activated and configured using visual scripting. But in the future, we plan to have all drones, cargo ships and pirates in the game using this behaviour. You will also be able to mod your own behaviours. Using the visual scripting tool, you can have drones perform different tasks and follow waypoints when needed, allowing them to navigate tight spaces. These are just some of the many tools that mission and scenario creators will have at their disposal. But that's all for now. For the full list of bug fixes, tweaks and improvements going out in today's update, please see the change log on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week and here's a quote to end on. If you removed all the arteries, veins and capillaries from a person's body and tied them end to end, that person would die.